Hello everyone, I'm Randy Carlisle with OKL Canline. Today we're going to be doing a lesson showing how to check the running clearance in the center line of an upper idler of the APMA in a Ragsdale top body maker. We're using a modified cover plate that is tapped with a threaded stud in it to move the idler from the drive side to the operator side and vice versa to ensure consistency and repeatability of the gauge readings. To check the running clearance and center line of the upper idler, you'll need an indicator base such as the one we're using here, a 5 tenths indicator, and you'll need to preload it with at least 20 thousandths preload. Make sure your needle is in a vertical position against the bearing surface of the idler. To check the running clearance, we'll have our indicator set on zero. We'll use the jacking bolt at the top of the APMA to move the indicator over. Carefully watch, you should be a 14 to 20 thousandths of running clearance. Our machine has 18 to 19 thousandths, that's perfect. After we've established our original zero and we've checked our running clearance and confirmed that we have 14 to 20 thousandths running clearance, we need to gently Remove the indicator from the original side, move it to the opposite side, engage the indicator with the upper idler. We're looking for five thousandths, zero to five thousandths. Right now we're at four thousandths. That's intolerance. Thank you for joining us for this video lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any interest, in booking your own training class at OKL, contact any of our inside salespeople. Three and four day classes are available. For a Ragsdale, we take this very machine, completely disassemble it down to the mainframe, level the frame, set all of the clearances and all of the center lines from the bottom up. You'll get your hands dirty and you'll enjoy the class.